Hello friends. So this week I wanted to answer a Discord question that came in. And there's a good chance you'll have come across this issue too. And that's how can you edit a mesh deform level? Or more accurately, how can you edit a level in a column that is connected to a plastic tool mesh? And I've got one here for my current Futurama project. But if I try to use the brush tool on it, I'm shown this disallowed sign. And if I try to paint, I get this message. So how can you edit this drawing once it's connected to a mesh? Well, I've got three easy ways to show you, and each you'll find useful at different times. So the first way is to edit your drawing using the level strip. So if you haven't got one visible already in your current room, either change to a room with one, or from the Windows menu, choose Level Strip. Then if you find the drawing you want to edit, and select it, only this drawing will be shown in the viewer. But now, you can edit it. So if I choose the brush tool, I can make any edits I want. And then when you select back on the X sheet, you'll see the edit in place on the drawing. But do remember that the only edits on the drawing within the area of the mesh will be rendered to the output. So if you need to draw outside the mesh, you'll need to recreate the mesh. And this is okay if the change is localized within this one single drawing, like the head here, and you can easily find the drawing in the level strip. But if you'd rather edit the drawing by selecting it on the X sheet, or need to see the drawing in its surroundings to be able to edit it, then this might not be the best. So if you want to see the head on the body, or within the room, then the next two options could be for you. So this next option is to very simply copy the drawings to a new column. Because remember, it's the column that's attached to the mesh, not the drawing level. So highlight any drawings you want to edit, then copy them using your keyboard shortcut, insert a new column by selecting on a column header and then pressing the insert key, and then choose back into the frames and paste the drawings back in. So now we've got two copies of the drawing on the same frame. And don't forget that your mesh might have animation or changes with the animate tool on it, so these drawings in your new column might not align with them exactly. So if my original head and body had been moved, so let's simulate that using the animate tool, choose on the body, and move it over there. This is the original drawing on the left, and the head on its own on the right is the one I've just copied in. And you can see that by turning on and off the camera stand view for that column. So with this technique, you might still be editing a floating head. So let's make the change. And now when I change to another column, you'll see the changes reflected in your original column because they contain the same drawings. So when you're finished, just delete this temporary column. And I'll delete that animation key to put the professor back. And this last option, although simple, is one that some of you might not be too comfortable with, which is why I've left it to last. But it is probably the easiest way to edit your drawing in place and that's by making a small change in the schematic view. And if you've not used the schematic view much, don't worry, it's really easy. And if you're using the plastic tool, it's a good thing to know about. So, change to a room with the schematic view in, and I've got one here. Or if you haven't got one, you can always open it from the Windows menu under Schematic. And when you've got it, check that you're looking at the stage schematic by looking at the top left of the panel here, this is the FX schematic, and if it's showing that, just click the button at the bottom right of the panel, and it'll toggle between these two schematic views. So now we're on the stage schematic, find your column that has the drawing in it, and it's this one here for me. And notice that it's parented by the mesh column. And all you have to do is to temporarily parent the drawing column to the parent of the mesh column. So in most circumstances, that'll be this table node, as it is for this drawing column here and this mesh column. But in this case for the professor's head, that's connected to the mesh, which is connected to the body and then the table. So we want to parent the head column to this body column. And to do that, you just drag from the left-hand side of the drawing column, 
and then drop it on the right hand side of the mesh's parent. Or you can drag the opposite way from the parent, drag it down to the child. And because each node can only have one parent, by reconnecting the drawing column, it'll remove the connection from the mesh. So now the mesh doesn't parent this column, you can edit it. And when you've finished, just reparent the column back to the mesh by dragging from the left hand side of the drawing column and dropping it on the right hand side of the mesh column. So that's it. That's three ways to edit a mesh deform level. Give them a try and see which is easier for you. And if you've got a question about Open Tunes, why not drop it to us on the Open Tunes Discord and see if we can help. And maybe I'll answer your question in a video. But I'll see you next time for another video. And that's a guarantee. Thank you.